Okay, imagine an AI that doesn't just analyze data, but learns from experience, trial by trial, mistake by mistake, until it masters a task. This isn't science fiction, it's actually the power of reinforcement learning. And today, we are going to dive deep into how it works, where it's being used, and why it's about to change, well, kind of everything, not trying to be dramatic. All right, first though, what is reinforcement learning? Reinforcement learning, or RL, is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to make decisions by performing actions and then receiving feedback. This could either be in the form of rewards or penalties. Now, over time, the agent learns to take the best action in each situation to maximize the total reward. This is very different from supervised learning, for example, where a model learns from labeled examples. In RL, there are no labels, only consequences. And this is very key to note. The model discovers the right actions through exploration. It's modeled on behavioral psychology and mathematically, it's typically framed as what I find really interesting called Markov decision process which is a sequence of states, actions, rewards, and transitions. Okay, but before we go any further, let's break down, let's look a little bit further back to understand the history of reinforcement learning, because it isn't new. In 1989, a researcher named Christopher Watkins actually introduced the Q learning algorithm, and this algorithm allowed agents to learn optimal actions in complex environments. The most important part of this is without needing a model of the environment itself. But the real breakthrough didn't come, I would say, until about 2013, when DeepMind combined deep neural networks with reinforcement learning. That is what we now call deep reinforcement learning. So essentially what they did is they trained a model to play Atari games using only raw pixel input. And the result, an AI that beat human players, learning not from code or instruction or anything like that, but simply through experience. This was the moment RL went from theory to world stage which is pretty cool when you think about it. Okay, I wanna go through some real world examples as well so you can really understand reinforcement learning. First up, let's talk about gaming. This is a huge industry on its own. Okay, a really good example of this is OpenAI's 5. It played over 45,000 years of Dota, Dota, Dota? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right two games in just 10 months of training. So it basically learned to coordinate, strategize, and adapt all through reinforcement learning, which is pretty wild. Now let's go through a robotics example. Robotics is an area that I first really got into learning about reinforcement learning because it's so prominent there. So OpenAI's Dactyl taught a robot hand to solve a Rubik's cube using only vision and touch. So what it did is it learned dexterity from scratch, which is pretty incredible once again. It wasn't learning it from past code or past anything else. RL is used to personalize treatments in healthcare, for example, also by simulating how a patient might respond to different drug regimens, especially in chronic disease management or sepsis treatment. Okay, let's go through one more example. What about, let's go through finance. So in algo trading, RL adapts to volatile market conditions. So it could make things like buy and sell decisions by learning from financial indicators. And okay, one more example, just to really reinforce reinforcement learning, let's do energy. Google DeepMind's RL system reduced energy used for cooling their data centers by up to 40%. And it did this by learning to predict temperatures and adjust fans and cooling systems more effectively than any rule-based system could have done, which is pretty cool. Okay, we talked about a little bit of high-level examples of different companies doing different things. Let's deep dive into one of my favorite examples, which is Waymo and reinforcement learning in self-driving cars, which is a huge area for this. You know, and I'm sure if you haven't driven in a Waymo, well not driven, but rode in a Waymo, you have to, it's kind of wild. I did when I was in San Francisco last time. So Waymo is Alphabet's autonomous vehicle division. And I think at the heart of Waymo AI is a mix of machine learning techniques, but reinforcement learning at the heart of it plays a crucial role in decision-making when it comes to Waymo. You see, driving isn't about one-off predictions. It's a constant loop of decisions and consequences. We all know that. Things change, things come out of right field, left field, right field, you know what I mean. And Waymo uses RL to train policies that adapt to edge cases. So for example, a child chasing a ball onto the street or a cyclist merging across multiple lanes. These are things that are so unexpected and very difficult to train a model on every single use case. Another example would be say, 
an aggressive driver cutting into your lane. These situations all have delayed rewards. It's not enough to make the right move in the moment. You have to make moves that lead to safety long term. Waymo can simulate billions, not millions, billions of miles in a virtual environment where its agents can learn from collisions without risking real lives, which is a massive advantage when you think about reinforcement learning high volume learning in safe simulated environments. And that's why it's used so often in things like robotics or autonomous vehicles. And in the case of Waymo, it's working. Waymo's fully autonomous taxis have already started operating in cities like Phoenix, San Francisco, as I mentioned, and I think they're planning on expanding to more, which is, it's really wild, the whole concept. Okay, let's dive into the era of experience. Now, what I mean by this is Google researchers like David Silver describe the next frontier as the era of experience. So what exactly does this really mean though? Traditional AI is data hungry. We all know that. It needs massive labeled data sets, some computing resource heavy, it's, it's a lot. But RL, it offers a different path. Learning by interacting. Instead of scraping the past, reinforcement learning actually learns to anticipate the future. And this matters in environments that are complex, unpredictable, or high stakes, like managing power grids, flying drones, or negotiating multiplayer games. Okay, now that we know exactly what reinforcement learning is, let's look a little bit about the challenges and ethical considerations. We're all aware by now, reinforcement learning is powerful, but it definitely is not perfect. Reward hacking is a real problem. So listen to this. Agents sometimes learn to game the system, and let's go through a famous example to really, really hit this on, reinforce this. An RL agent trained to maximize points in a boating race game learned to spin in circles and collect rewards. So it's not actually finishing the race, but it kind of hacked the system, if you will. There are also real risks in deployment, one being bias in feedback loop or in the feedback loop. Another one being difficulty in interpreting why an agent made a decision that it made. And then we have safety, of course. Safety when the agent is operating in, especially the real world, with huge stakes at hand, like a kid running across the street. Now, researchers are working on safe reinforcement learning, which really has constraints or which constrains the policy space to avoid dangerous or unethical behavior. But these are open problems, especially as RL moves from simulations to the real world. Okay, but what about the future then? Where are we headed with reinforcement learning? Reinforcement learning is already changing the foundations of computing. I mean, when you think about things like DeepMind's Alpha Dev used reinforcement learning to discover sorting algorithms that outperform human design ones, meaning reinforcement learning didn't just learn to use algorithms, it actually invented it which is it's really hard to wrap your head around, it's wild. And it's only getting more scalable. I mean, Google recently announced that, or hinted at, anyways, at large scale reinforcement learning agents trained using massive compute, similar to how GPT-4 was trained. Now, the difference being these agents don't just answer, they act, whether it's in robotics, energy, gaming, or science. Reinforcement learning will be the core of autonomous AI. And that's really the future we are heading towards. So understanding what reinforcement learning is, which you should after this video, I hope, is so key because it's playing such a crucial role in, in our society. It really teaches AI how to act, not just think. It's moving us towards a world where machines can learn essentially like humans through interactions, mistakes, and growth. So if you're someone who's building an AI, learning about reinforcement learning is like learning to walk in the future because this isn't just a new tool. It's going to essentially be a way to teach machines to do almost anything, which is pretty incredible. All right, leave down in the comments other topics you want me to break down for you in tech, AI, future tech, tech news, you know, all the good stuff. And make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay ahead of what is going on in tech, stay ahead of tech terms, AI, even if you're not in this space, this is so crucial nowadays to stay on top of. Thank you all and I will see you all soon.